Thank you. Um, I appreciate the opportunity to, to, serve, to serve you as your county commissioner. Um, can't tell you what a pleasure it is to have the support that you guys give me, and it's what keeps me going, particularly in the days we're in right now. Now, my wife told me just a moment ago to keep it short, because I get long-winded when we get talking about county politics, but what John said is right. Local government is the closest government to us. Uh, it's, it's the thing that affects our lives the most. And uh, if you don't believe it, look at what's going on in Chatham County right now. <coughs> We have an opportunity to help develop an industrial mega site, which will provide jobs for people in Chatham County. Our citizens will have, you know, be able to stop leaving the county and go to work because there will be opportunities here. Our children will be able to work here and not have to leave, leave home. Our tax base will be increased. 91%, 91% of our revenue that we work with in the county comes from real estate taxes. We don't have enough industrial tax base here. And uh, that, you know, with people working at home, we generate more sales revenue, uh, sales tax revenue, and that helps the county. Just, just the, the Walmart on 15501 that was built uh, a couple years ago brought the county a million dollars in sales tax. That goes a long way. That's a million dollars you don't have to pay. And uh, that's, that's something that the current board majority doesn't understand. <coughs> And uh, I need some help on that board. I'm telling you, I'm tired of fighting that crowd. I'm, I'm getting tired, and I uh, really need some help. I miss, I miss Brian and Pam. We had, we had a good thing going. Uh, but it's going to take more. I know you're excited and you want to go out and vote. You say, I'm going to support. It's going to take more than that, folks. Each of you are going to have to be an ambassador. Each of you are going to have to get involved and get more people involved. You're going to have to get friends and neighbors and aunts and uncles and cousins and even people you don't know, and say, listen, folks, we've got to have an impact on our government, our local government, because it has an impact on our lives. The other seats are very important. State and federal seats, they're extremely important. But, I, but what affects us most in our daily lives is what happens in Pittsburgh. And I need your help to get, some, get, to get Jay Stops, where's Jay? You'll hear from him. And Peyton Holland. I need your help to get them elected this year. If we can get them on this board in November, I can promise you one thing. The very next commissioner meeting, things will change. We're going to see some, we're going to, you're going to see, a, you're going to see an industry friendly board. You're going to see, uh, you're going to see the control of what goes on in the county back in the hands of the citizens. I know most of you, a lot of you may live in the zone area of the county, so it may not matter to you. But do you know that this current board is trying to zone the entire county with R1 or R5, a blanket zoning, no matter where you are, where you live, what's on your property, the only thing exempt is agriculture. And everything else is going to be zoned R1, R5, and they're doing it with no citizen input. None. Zero. They're saying, oh, we'll have citizen input, we'll have, we'll have meetings, Yes, what they're not telling you is those meetings are after they've decided what to do. The citizen input is have give you an opportunity to comment on it, not change their mind. And that's what's happened. And that's, you know, 18 months ago, I said this, and that's exactly the road we're headed down. So now they've made, they, they've determined they're going to zone the county. And uh, I'll just tell you how, I'll tell you how unpopular it is, and they know it's unpopular. One of the commissioners in particular made the comment, she says, I'm going to see this county zoned if it's the last thing I do, even if it means I'm a one-term commissioner. Now, what does that tell you? That tells you she knows it's not a popular thing. It tells you she knows a lot of people are against it. It tells you that she knows that she may not get elected again if it happens. But it's so important for her to push her personal agenda without the input of citizens that she's willing to sacrifice that. What happened to representing the people that put you in office? It's not happening there, folks. They're not being heard. And uh, if we can get Peyton and Jay in there, your voice will be heard once again. Your property rights will go back to you. Their zoning is needed in some areas. There are things that need attention. But there are other ways to do it without a blanket countywide zoning that, that tremendously impacts people's lives. Um, 
The thing they keep going back and saying is agriculture is exempt. That's partially true. That just means you can't zone agriculture out. It don't tell you what you can't do on your property if it is agriculture. And uh, so, again, I apologize for... I told you it wouldn't take long, honey. Sorry. <laughs> but this is so important to me, and it's important to you. And if you, if you don't understand how important it is to you, give us an opportunity in another meeting somewhere to tell you. And I can tell you exactly how to impact your life. And it's not just a zoning issue. It's, it's the... Um, it's the business-friendly environment. We, we have opportunities for, for industry here, and, and the things we're doing is discouraging indus, industrial development. We're making it so hard for industry to come here and jobs to be here in the town and county. And what that means is, if we don't get it, that means more burden is back on individual property owners for tax base <coughs> to, to, to supply the funds, the revenue necessary to build the schools, to, to fund law enforcement to run the infrastructure, the county, uh, water and sewer. So uh, please help me this, this fall. Please get involved. Be an ambassador. Set, set a goal to, to encourage five people, or, or better yet, carry five people to the poll with you. Get them to vote. And uh, again, every seat's important, state and federal. But county is something that really makes a difference in your life every single day. So uh, please vote. Please encourage others to vote. And thank you for the opportunity to serve you. And God bless.